What's up guys, Barry Game here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we need to go over the 2022 New Year celebration because this could be arguably one of the best free-to-play events we have ever seen. Not only do you have like a, I think it's like 48% chance to get a Mysterious Artifact Selection Chest, you get it just for doing your weekly events. You're not spending any bonus gems. You're not doing any of that nonsense. There's the gold mall, the gem mall, the relics mall. There's the, you know, the hero or artifact swaps. There's also those for spenders. The two cards are absolutely amazing. Uh, I really can't find anything negative to say about this event unless your RNG is just bad. Which, for half of you, it probably will be. I'm guessing it's going to happen to me personally. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Let's jump into it. But I, I just have to say this event feels pretty much god tier. So what specifically makes this event so good? Uh, well, to be honest, it's this New Year's prayer. We were all hyped about the, uh, the the malls. We were hyped about the replacements. But in reality, the way this New Year prayer event works is kind of insane. So in order to get your free, I'll, I'll put quotations, free 12 crystals to give you a total of four pulls on the New Year's prayer event, you just need to spend what? 6,000 gems, but the thing is you don't have to spend it here. Spending gems anywhere in the game gets it for you. So I did some things, I hit hand of Midas a ton on this account because I just needed the gold for the gold mall. It gives it to you. It's not like you have to come into this event and spend 6,000 gems on this event. You just spend 6,000 gems in general. For example, if you're going to be buying the 40 extra of these tickets, it counts there. If you're going to be coming into Imp's Adventure and buying the extra 30 dice here, it counts there. So essentially, you're not spending any bonuses. None. None whatsoever. No extra bonus gems this week. And of course, you're going to get four free pulls to this event. Now, the other spot you can get this from is in the value packages here and here. Um... I mean, if you really want to, this is, a, this is honestly this is honestly a very good week for spenders out there if you are going to go crazy on Imp's Adventure because you're going to get tons of uh, swap tickets. Actually, right here, you'll notice you get these uh, replacement coupons here. I don't know if it refreshes once you're past the first loop. That is something we'll have to find out. But yeah, these these this is pretty insane right here. Now, what can you actually get here? Well, the big thing is, is these three artifact selection chests. The first one being an 11% chance to actually claim it. Now, the other ones I think are identical of what they contain. Yeah, none of them have the brand new melodic strings in it. But I believe over the four pulls, you have somewhere in the ballpark of 48 to 50-ish percent chance to actually get it. I know someone did the math, but I can't actually, I, I, I don't remember what the chances were for it. But I'm pretty sure it's good. Now, even if you don't hit that, there's, of course, five-star hero selection chest, light and dark chest, puppets, cores of transcendence, tons of relics. And what these guys right here are residence construction selection chests, which are, of course, for Celestial Island. Uh, but this one's not that great because it's open the chest and select one reward, unlike other chests we've had recently that just simply give you everything. It sounds like you only pick one thing off of this, so... Not amazing, but it is okay. Uh, I'm, I've am i seen a ton of people get it on their first prayer. Will you have a total of four prayers? So good luck on this event. This one is good. Kind of matching up with this is the New Year's event because, of course, you can spend, I believe it's, what, 4,000 gems on this to get 40 of these tickets, and each one of these costs a little different. So the first one here is a Mysterious Artifact Swap. Uh, so you can kind of pick in what you want. But if you are doing something like this, just remember, this is technically four artifacts. So in order to do that, you need four. If you're going to do just basic ones here, it's the full 40. So it's very expensive. But you can do two free artifact swaps. So again, free-to-play players are very, very 
very important on this event because you can take things like lucky candy bars that you might not care about and oh i don't know turn them into crowns twice because you can spend the 4,000 gems here the 4500 in imps adventure combine that's going to give you all the gems you need to spend this entire week for the new year's prayer event and you're getting two artifacts so that's cool now you can go for some limited skins and things like that which is kind of surprising because you'll notice here there's ace skins here well that, that's my own skin i i don't think you ever want to do that because you won't find ace skins on the flip side someone mentioned this the uh the other night like barry you can swap them like yeah but you never want to swap a skins you want to swap other ones honestly i would not really do the regular limited skin unless you absolutely need to i mean if you do it costs you on this one what is it 10 tickets you can technically do eight swaps or some combination of different things but the festival skins is really the one you want to go after because this one here has pretty much all the transcendence heroes besides aspen in here you can't find the krampus one but you can find every other transcendent skin so this part is pretty pretty solid uh if you continue on here you have regular five star hero swaps take any old hero um is it only elite heroes or maybe not elite heroes but it's only 10 starable heroes from the looks of it i think but you can swap them into anything you want eight tickets you can do it a total of eight times so that's pretty solid and then lastly you can do light and dark heroes as well and swap them into anything you want for 10 tickets so again not too bad on this event either yeah i don't think nah it, it looks like they're only 10 starable heroes so you have to have a 10 starable hero in that faction so you can't take like a regular dark spirit actually let me just see if we have any it could yeah see we have some dark spirits you can't take dark spirits divine spirits and swap them into the better heroes uh it is a quote unquote a 10 starable hero into a 10 starable hero you can do that for 10 tickets a total of eight times so there's a lot of different options and combinations that you can do on this event there are of course the two vip cards here the blessing card and the new year card this one you're going to get resources based on your level every day for 15 days this one you're going to get these resources for 15 days uh, not multiplied by your level both extremely good value as far as gems go if you're a low spender and then we have the gold mall the gem mall and the relic mall Whew, this one's going to take a lot to buy out because when you actually think about it, um, yeah, it's <laughs> you're spending 20 million. You can do it five times. Kind of annoyed there's not a uh, uh, a purchase button to go up, so you're going to have to click it every time. Honestly, out of everything here, I'd try to focus on getting the Celestial Island resources and the guild coins. Actually, how many guild coins are you getting here? 50,000? That's pretty solid. That's going to fill up like a node close to Well, not quite gonna help you fill up a node uh the gem mall is pretty solid as well the gem mall right here has uh one 10 star puppet two nine stars and four of every other faction six star puppet pretty good we might try to grab some of these on the free to play but it's gonna be very difficult with all the other events and then there are the relics mall you're essentially getting a 12.5 percent discount on relics it's only 50 relics but hey 50 relics adds up if you've been saving up that's going to help you get to your next artifact as well plus you got to remember you got discounts here and there is a chance that you get 100 relics from this event so there's a lot of really good stuff to grab here but this event right here is by far going to be one of the best so if you're looking to spend resources here if you're looking to buy everything out i believe the gold mall is going to cost you about 1.1 billion gold i think it's like 1.15 billion gold if i if i calculated that right it's a lot so make sure you got the resources i would buy it out if i were you if you can afford to if you're on your free to play accounts you might want to spend a little bit more wisely overall and then if you want to buy out the gem mall it costs about eighty-six thousand gems i mean the average player should probably save but uh maybe go after those bigger puppets or maybe light and dark puppets if that's what you're struggling to get some food for stuff like that so yeah god tier event new year's prayer is insane let me know what you guys think because i think it's insane and uh probably gonna be a rarity that we see such a good event again if you are a spender out there this is probably a really good week to spend probably better than even christmas was so because there's a lot of good stuff here as well Whew.
hopefully you guys enjoy us and make sure you guys hit that subscribe button we're uh on the last day of 2021 so i want to just say thank you guys for all the support this year it's been insane doing this full-time being a full-time youtuber twitch streamer combination whatever i really appreciate all the support i'll see you guys next time